welcome to Toasted Hoagies Patreon. For all viewers who love Toasted Hoagies content and wish to help support Hoagie, now is your chance. In return for your support, we offer up to four donations le donation levels. The $1 tip tier, the $5 early access tier, the $10 request tier, and the $30 donation tier. The $10 tier also comes with early access, and while the $30 donation tier is a donation-oriented tier, it too gains all the benefits of the $5 and ten dollar tier. Hoagie, quit shilling your Patreon. Don't I pay you enough? You don't pay me all! Shut up, Steve! Now back to the Patreon talk. With your help, Hoagie can continue to provide entertaining videos and streams for a long time to come. Isn't that great? You bet it is. Anyway, I will see you all in the next video. Catch you later! And it's time for more Death Road to Canada for Hoagie Wee. Let's start this adventure and see what the hell happens. Of course, we're going with. rumors that Canada is a safe place free of the threat of zombies. With nothing to gain from waiting around Florida, he decides to brave the death road to Canada and travel north. <laughs> uh, seriously? Florida? I would literally explode into flames if I tried to live in Florida. Too hot. See, to start their journey, the group decides to grab some supplies from a nearby location. In order to si survive the death road, you'll need a new uh, need to hoard as many supplies as you can. You also need to find new ways or find ways to trade and grow your team. Well, let's see. Quiet factory sounds promising. A rest stop could have food. A house on the road could all have food and hmm. you know what? I'm gonna go with the house on the road. The group spots a house on the road. Looks fairly quiet from the outside, but looking through the windows reveals shapes lurching around in the dark. So your zombie forecast is swarm size sparse. Aggression calm. Current time near noon. And uh, what do you have? Eh, Steve can punch the zombies. Good work, Steve. Ooh. Lunchy budgies. Yeah. So far, so good. Yeah. Bullets, those will come in handy. What? Ooh. 
Yeah, he did. Yeah, let's go. Huh. Got some food, ammo, medicine. 23 zombies destroyed. Not bad. Hmm. It gets late and there's no great place to camp solo. Zombies hobble around in the far distance and one might sneak up on the group while they sleep. Who should stay on watch? Yeah, we'll take shifts. Huh? There's an old dog sitting across the road. It is near a stub nosed revolver lying on the ground. Whenever the group tries to approach the dog, it picks up the object and runs a small distance away. Who should try to get the item? I... I think one of us is going to get shot by the damn dog. Group drives into the city as it starts to get dark. Try not to lose track of time. Things get bad after sunset. Huh. Uh, let's see. Hardware store or sporting goods? Mm, probably hardware. much for being near a hardware store.
Yeah, it went pretty well. The group is sitting around a campfire, resting before a brutal day tomorrow. The group eats a decent meal. Just go to sleep. While looking through an office building, the group finds a safe that has been left open. There's nothing in there but papers. The text is all jumbled and makes no sense. They were locked up. They must be important. Who should decipher them? I don't know. Hoagie claims the papers, documents, there's a secret organization called Stinkle, whose goal was to create the milk dud shortage that led to the zombie apocalypse. Finally, the truth has been revealed. Ha! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Absolutely no one believes what Hoagie is saying. <laughs> That sounds about right. This is some bull crap. <laughs> Outside of Canada, most of society and civilization has been destroyed. You can still find people engaging in trade with preserved food being the new currency. You have four food left. And the group runs into a trading camp. Okay, visit trader camp. Shotgun for one food. Speedbot with its sleek lines, its tiny spinner hubcaps, even stands still. This robot exudes the concept of speed. Plus, it just said the word speed just now. You need 15 food to buy this speedbot. Ah. So what the hell are you? Punch bot. Ha! <laughs> A robot after my own heart. Now we're getting somewhere. This robot is designed for one purpose. Punching. You <laughs> you need 10 food to bomb, man. But I want a punch bot. It's my spirit animal. Well, <laughs> cool. Like a new car. a new person, Jaren. He is alone and wants to join the team. Jaren claims to be really strong. He boasts about being a former cage pit deathmatch fighter. Hoagie knows his son is off about Jaren. Um, 
now, if anything, he could be used for bait. Onward to Canada. Oops. The group is about to explore a small house when they notice that a horde is creeping nearby. The group will have to hold their ground for a bit before they can escape. Siege alert. There's no escape. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, you know what? We'll we'll try this. around a campfire finding this campfire was rough so they're getting in a bad mood the group is low on food and eats less huh my morale is very high apparently the group is taking a break near a lake there's an old man in the boat and distance fishing he flips the flesh fishing rod and dozens of fl fish fly high in the air he then gets out a pistol and starts shooting him. The world seems to shake. During the middle of this, he switches out for his shotgun. You know what? Let's recruit him. <laughs> Jiren finds a rowboat. It takes a while to get to the old man. The man doesn't talk and his expression is hard to read, but he steps on your boat. Billy Shoot is revealed to be good. Billy joins the team. Onward to Canada. As the group explores the campsite, they are ambushed by bandits. They brandish makeshift weapons. They demand all of your weapons. This is ludicrous. Not even bandits will usually do this as it's a slow, but... Man. Ooh. Everybody got hurt. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. Roadside rescue. Secure junkyard. Hey. The group... The group sees a person fleeing in the rest stop with a horde. Pursuing them, the person could still be saved. 
Siege alert, there's no escape. Oof. 